my top registry items for pumping and breastfeeding to be mamas. Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. If you guys are new here, my name is Leah. I'm a stay-at-home mama of two. I make videos on our family adventures, life in the country, and DIYs whenever I get inspired. I recently made a video on breastfeeding tips for new mamas. If you guys have not checked that out, it will be in the description of this video. Clearly, it's a topic that I'm excited about. So today I'm gonna to be filming for you guys my top registry items for pumping and breastfeeding to be mamas. I came prepared, I'm ready. As a disclaimer, guys, I am no professional in this matter. I'm giving you guys my journey, my tips, and things that I absolutely loved and would use again if I had to, if I had another kid. Also, don't forget, every breastfeeding journey is different. If you are breastfeeding, if you are exclusively pumping, if you're not breastfeeding and you're giving formula, bed is best. So wherever you are in your journey, it's your journey. So be proud of wherever you are. When I first found out I was pregnant, I had a dear friend of mine email me all the things that she thought were her top items for her baby registry. And I'll never forget that it made me feel so confident in the items that I was adding, that I knew that it was things that had been tried out by somebody who had just had a baby and that I was going to be using those things. The first thing I'm gonna start off with is of course the pump. You guys heard it in my last video, the pump that I used for during both of my pregnancies actually was the Spectra S1. I love this pump and I would hands down put it again in my registry. I love the fact that it was so portable. It's rechargeable, the S1, so you can literally take it anywhere with you. And it's very quiet, so you're not having to worry about when you're pumping at night. I feel like a pump is something that you definitely want to spend your money on to make sure that you have something that you are comfortable with and that works for you. Some pumps only come with one setting and I absolutely love the pump. It came with several settings. You could start off your pump session with just a gentle massage and then increase to whatever you wanted to. So I really loved that about the pump. You could really adjust to whatever you felt you liked. So it comes with two standard flanges. It's very important that you size appropriately and they go into very great detail explaining how you'll know if these are the right fit for you. If they're not, they do have other sizes that you can purchase. So I definitely recommend for you to get it before you have your baby so that you can know what size is going to fit you. The next thing that I would definitely invest once you buy your pump, you are gonna want some type of nipple cream or some type of lubrication. If you are pumping, the two that I would highly recommend, I tried several while I was pumping. I pumped for almost two years between my two kids. Having a proper lubrication for your pump is necessary. The two that I bought and I would hands down buy again and recommend are, the first one that I used was the Bamboobies. This is a pumping lubricating gel, amazing. It's thick, but doesn't come on too thick, and it's not sticky, and it just applies so nicely, so cooling. I absolutely loved it. It comes in small bottles, and I believe you can buy it on Amazon, two of them for about $12. So you are gonna be going through a lot of these tubes, and a little goes a long way. I would apply it every time I finished pumping or breastfeeding, and I feel like it, I had really good results with it. For my second pregnancy, I came across this legendary milk pump spray. It comes in a four ounce bottle for $24. I know, but it was so worth it. I only ended up using maybe a bottle and a half that I was like, where was this when I pumped the first time around? These two miracle workers for your boobs. And the next thing that I used while I was pumping breastfeeding are nursing pads. There are several that you can use. The ones that I absolutely loved are washable ones. They are definitely cushier and it doesn't feel plastic. It's cloth, you can wash it. It feels soft on your breasts. Believe me, if you're pumping or breastfeeding, they take a beating. What I would do is just once I finished using them, I would throw them in the washer. Good as new, they lasted me both pregnancies. All right, sticking in the area, the bras. 
Oh Lord. When you're breastfeeding or pumping, you definitely want something that's easy to use, accessible at night, and I absolutely love these. The ones I use, they have a v-neck and they have a full coverage. The ones I loved was the full coverage ones. They just felt supported. So when you're breastfeeding or pumping, instead of having to move your bra out of the way, you just want something that you can just click and you can pump, breastfeed, easy access, that's what you want. So another thing I would definitely recommend is a nursing cover. Now there's several that I tried and the one that I absolutely love, you don't have to do this brand specifically, but if you get something that has a wire on it, it's easier for you to be able to see the baby or if you are pumping for you to be able to kind of see what's going on in there while you're pumping and not have to be moving your cloth away. So I absolutely love the one with a wire on it. Whenever I needed a pump, it didn't matter where I was and it didn't matter who was there. I would just get underneath the blanket and then just be able to see kind of like what I was pumping and I was able to be hands-free, which if you're pumping, it's really convenient for you. You could also sometimes use it as a cover for your baby if you're going out in the car seat. So double use. All right, a nursing pillow. Now I'm gonna put the one that I used in the description of this video, like I mentioned, but is a nursing pillow necessary debatable i feel like once you have one kid the second kid you're just like we're this is gonna work <laughs> so i definitely don't think that it is a necessity is it a luxury item sure why not and if you're gonna put it in your registry i definitely would put it you never know I definitely got use out of it. Definitely recommend that maybe more if you're breastfeeding versus pumping, because if you're pumping, you're definitely gonna not want anything in the vicinity while you're pumping. I would definitely add it to the registry. It doesn't hurt. And you can definitely use it for other things afterwards for tummy time for your baby, stuff like that. So steering a little more into pumping, if you're pumping, I would really recommend for you to get good storage bags. I tried several, you know, they give you samples and stuff. I would definitely go back to the Lansino, whatever it is. The bags are really, really durable. Through Amazon, you can get about 200 for about $27. You are gonna go through them a lot, especially if you're pumping. I definitely froze with other ones and I wasn't really a fan. They were smaller, chunkier. I love the fact that these were long. Once you put your milk in it, you can write down the date and all that stuff and then you lay it flat and it really, freezes nicely very thin not chunky that if you're pumping what i used to do once i had several of them i would transfer them into a gallon freezer bag and then put what month it was there and then put them away they're just very freezer friendly i really love them one of the next things that i absolutely loved and if you're going to be pumping you are going to want something like this i purchased these dairy heavy glass milk bottles they were about 33 ounces, I believe, and it came in a pack of two. You guys, it made such a difference with storing my milk. If you don't know, you can leave your milk, your freshly pumped milk out at room temperature for about four hours, I believe, four days in the refrigerator, six months in the freezer, and up to a year in a deep freezer. So you're not supposed to mix your room temperature milk with the milk that's already in the refrigerator. What I did was I had one bottle that said freshly pumped and then the other bottle was the milk that I would pour that freshly pumped once it was cooled into. That second bottle, what I would do is write down the date. So I would put down today's date and then once this bottle was done, I would pour it into the other one and have this one ready for new fresh milk. You wanna make sure that you know the date that you're putting it in because at the end of the four days, whatever was in there if i hadn't used it got frozen and put away then you have a brand new bottle for you to use another thing you could also add to your registry is some type of tote or cooler bag so when you are traveling you can store your freshly pumped milk it doesn't have to be anything crazy i would just recommend something small that you can take with you and it's easy to carry and lastly, one of the things that I really feel like helped me out was getting a really good sterilizer, very easy to use. And you want to make sure that you're pumping and sterilizing your equipment. What I loved is that I was able to sanitize my glass bottles that I used for milk storage in the sterilizer as well. So it, I felt it was a really good purchase. And I think that's it, guys. I hope I didn't miss anything in the list. 
If you guys have breastfed or pumped before, let me know in the comments if these are things that you found useful for yourself. If there's anything that I missed that you guys would recommend. Again, please keep in mind that every breastfeeding journey is different and you should not feel like you need to compare your journey to anybody else's. Fed is best and we need to support each other regardless if we are pumping, if we're using formula, a healthy mama is a happy baby. If you guys enjoyed the information in this video, make sure to like this video, let me know in the comments, share this video with your friends. I post videos of our family life and adventures, life in the country, and DIYs whenever I get inspired. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I'll see you guys in my next one.